A SpaceX cargo ship is on its way to the International Space Station this morning after a historic launch from Cape Canaveral in Florida. Crowds cheered as the company's Falcon 9 rocket blasted off yesterday from the Kennedy Space Center. It then safely returned without its payload. The orbiting Dragon cargo ship is set to dock with the space station Wednesday. The SpaceX launch comes as NASA considers a new mission for its astronauts. DeMarco Morgan joins us with where they might go. DeMarco, good morning. Good morning, Anthony. It's been five years since the last launch at Kennedy Space Center, and Sunday's March, the first time a privately owned spacecraft has taken off from NASA's historic launch pad, 39A. It's a site whose place in history might soon be revived under a plan to return astronauts to the moon and possibly Mars. Three, two, one, ignition and lift off. The With the roar of its engines, Falcon 9 blasted towards space. It is approaching the landing zone now. Minutes later, the rocket returned to Earth. A triumph, SpaceX founder Elon Musk captioned on social media with the phrase, baby came back. Launchpad 39A has been the starting point for some of NASA's historic space missions, including the Apollo 11 mission of 1969. One and the final flight Houston of the Alpha space shuttle in 2011. Atlantis. Space shuttle spreads its wings one final time. The SpaceX launch came just days after NASA said it was considering putting astronauts on board a mission to orbit the moon, called EM-1. In a letter obtained by CBS this morning, NASA's acting administrator told employees last week the agency was on the verge of even greater discoveries and that it was exploring the possibility of adding a crew to the mission. We stand at the birth of a new millennium ready to unlock the mysteries of space. The moon is a departure from what previous administrations had considered the next step in space exploration, Mars. I think it makes a tremendous amount of sense uh, to bring the moon back into the equation of building up the capability and using it as a training base before we head off on a much more challenging trip to Mars. Now, if all goes according to plan, SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft will rendezvous with the International Space Station early on Wednesday, where it will deliver over 5,500 pounds of equipment, supplies, and science gear. Absolutely amazing. Very exciting. Such a careful ballet that yes. happens in outer space, yeah. you know? It's you know amazing. What? I, I just can't get over the countdown. I love the 3 yes. two, one the <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that never gets old. Whether it works or not, I the just love it. The way that they canceled it right before the day before. 13 yeah. seconds. Yeah. Imagine how the Heightens day. the anticipation. Yes. Yeah. I love, the idea of going, I love the idea of going to Mars. Yeah. I'm going to cheer you on, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'll be alone on my rocket. Not until 9 o'clock. Not until 9 o'clock. DeMarco Morgan, thanks for that, DeMarco. Thank you.